dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with DC Comics Villains Month, followed by Turok Dinosaur Hunter, and then for our focal point, Storm the Castle. That's right. Our anime this week is Cowboy Bebop the movie, and our movie is Doomsday. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, today is the 9th and we're taking a look at the first round of DC Comics Villain Month. That's right, Villains Plural Month. Uh, and this is directly after the Trinity, Ooh. what is it called, the, uh, the Trinity War. Um, and it's it starts off with its own comic, Forever Evil. That's kind of like a base comic that's going to go right down the middle. If you're going to read about what's happening. And then it kind of branches off into every single comic book out there. So, what is it, 52 comics, right? So each comic is going to be centered on a specific villain. And you're going to get some of the backstory or a different story. Or you're going to get a little bit of taste about them. And it's just kind of stemming from that. So you, you have from the... from. And this is, I should say, that this is the first crossover big kind of saga uh, event for DC since the New 52 spawned. So you have uh, the, the Justice League, the Justice League of America, and the Justice League Dark, and they were all kind of pitted against each other uh, during the Trinity War, and now this is kind of the aftermath. So take it away. I just wanted to, 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 to tell you that I was one of the lucky few that got the uh, 3D covers. I, you can't see it a whole lot here. That's a bad example because that's green on green. You yeah, I know it's going to be horrible, but uh, there's nothing I can do. There's lots of green in here, so sorry. Uh, but anyway, they are pretty cool, and we'll talk about the kind of the quality of that. Um, maybe right now. They're 3D. Apparently, you just, like, that's all you're going to tell them. Reach so, this one's going to be horrible on green screen. Sorry. Well, what do you that's, mean, that's terrible? I, I, I told yeah. them everything that I could think of. No, no, no. Whatever. I, you kind of didn't listen to what I was saying. Anyway, so I got all these 3D covers. I'm going to get one for each of them. Um, they've been allocated, so so not everybody's getting what they want. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to get one of everyone. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge DC fan, but I love the villains. I've always loved the villains. So I thought, oh, what a better way, you know, to, uh, there's no better way than to get in and, and get these awesome covers, uh, which is this new technology that they might not ever use again, you know, kind of thing. And um, I get kind of a one-shot, and they are all true one-shots, although yep. a lot of them, you know, they say that, but a lot of them do lead into, check out what happens on Earth 2 with blah, 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 you know, kind of thing. But anyway, um, you know, check them out, see if I like them, and uh, I, I do like them. So far, there have been the one... Uh, part the first part of Forever Evil and then thirteen of these books so there's right. fourteen released this week or last week and um, I'm I'm enjoying them I think about half of them are like yeah that was cool yeah and the other half were like okay all right I was disappointed with the Joker one yeah well I was yeah. hoping for more from the Joker but I mean it was what it was and yeah. it was enjoyable I don't know yeah can you guys see that 3D ness yeah it is can really see some of it yeah it, it really is awesome right like right up close if you guys remember those old holographs with the big freaking stripe that the lines in it then you could kind of bend it in the in the thing yeah. moves. this but, this is done so much better because you can't see the lines you can feel it uh, when you run your hand across it but you can't see it yeah you, you can't really see the lines. so yes it's it's the best I've ever seen having said that it still gets really blurry yeah especially in ones like this one it's just like always blurry because there's so many fine lines right but it's still cool it does feel like you can poke your finger right into the space it's pretty awesome um and they're very high quality um apparently a lot of the uh, poison ivies were printed upside down i was lucky enough to get one that wasn't although that might be a collectible yeah, thing yeah. later um but anyway uh i appreciate the quality for sure i think there's a wasted effort on the back of every one of these yeah i can't wait for this game but it's totally a wasted you know area because it is 3d but there's not a whole lot that can pop out uh, yeah it's just snow basically yeah so that's unfortunate they could they could have really like put the hero on the back i'm hoping that they do the heroes uh as well in the future yeah. but yeah i'm having a lot of fun with these villains and, and there's so many more the iconic villains to go i'm um, getting to a few of them i think this is actually one of my favorites right here uh, uh, Deadshot, I think, is a good book. I think I have a lot of fun with that one. And I also have fun with the, the Two-Face, which I'm not a huge Two-Face uh, fan. A lot of people like him, but I never really got into him. But I, this one is compelling. And uh, this is one that's not an origin. Most of them are kind of, they touch on the origin, or at right. least thereabouts. This one is not that at all, and it's also going to continue through Forever Evil, I believe. 
anyway, um, but it is very interesting. And even though this one's kind of boring because it's just a huge coin, I think it's one of that shows like the most depth. I yeah, think. yeah. You can pretty, definitely pretty see awesome. more. Uh, pretty the, awesome. More 3D. So we're almost there. Here's another one of my favorite covers. I love this cover. The book itself, yeah, is a little bit lackluster. Um, but it is interesting because it has to do with his origin, possibly. I mean, you know, it could just be lying again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know with Joker. But um, this is actually one of my favorites as well. That one was... Both cover and the story. Insane. I liked it. Yeah, it yeah. was insane. It I liked cool. it a lot. So, you know, I don't know. I didn't know a whole lot about Ventriloquist. And so that, that's actually... They're doing that fairly well. You know, they're kind of filling me in on well, some, see, like, Relic and Dark Side. Here's, this is probably the best one, best cover. I yeah, that one is cool with the, with the it's lots lasers. Lots of depth. And, yeah, going, the, zoop, 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 the, the Omega the Beams. The yeah, the Omega Beams. Yeah. Um, as, far as, cool. ventri- as far as Ventriloquist goes, that, that's a new Ventriloquist because the old one, if you remember, had Scarface and, and it had the kind of dummy, you know, with the... With the yeah, Scarface Spectacles. with the Tommy gun. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but this is the new 52, you know, kind of, they did take some liberties. So anyway, it is interesting. I'm very much looking forward to next week, which is going to just be in a couple days. It'll be like 13 more or something, because there's 52 of these covers. Now, so. each of those were like a dollar more because, right? Well, yeah, but they're still the same. They're they're three ninety nine, so they're still the same price as like a Marvel comic. It's just the new 52 have been a dollar cheaper. Yeah. So they just bumped it up. Uh, to comp- compensate for that, if you don't get a hold of the 3D cover, then it is still just 2.99. So yeah, a dollar more for the covers, and I think it's well worth it because they're just awesome. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, and, you were uh, telling me that you want to have like a wall of them. I totally. I'm gonna press them between plexiglass because that's where you get the best is when they're nice and flat. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, I'm gonna totally. Hopefully they'll do heroes. Please do heroes. Have heroes on one side and villains on the other, and, they and then they'll just be like pop out, you know, while you're yeah, walking. Yeah, it's awesome. And, and there are definitely some heroes that I don't really care about. And like Relic, his story is like what? Well, really? he's a villain. I oh yeah. sorry, yeah, villain. Uh, but Relic actually, he should be a hero possibly. But apparently, he's just too lazy, you know. And I know it's been millions of years of whatever, you know, kind of thing. But it's like, come on. So anyway, I'm not gonna spoil it too much. But it's it's just kind of one of those things that there are still characters that I don't really care about, and their covers are pretty cool. But it, you know, whatever. But kind of, I you know, completionist in this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it, whatever. I haven't felt this way since I was a kid. And like they started coming out with the 3D embossed covers. You know, yeah. Marvel did a whole bunch of those. I remember those. They got yeah. a whole bunch of them. And there was there was there the was reflective the, ones as well. Yeah, there was the embossed, and then there was the two tone kind of sparkly ones where in the light it kind of changes colors. Like, yeah, oh, this yeah. is so awesome. Metallic. Yeah, kind of yeah, pattern. yeah. But yeah. So anyway, so it's been a lot of fun. I've been saving up for this event because I knew it was going to come, and you know, we we know how many there are going to be, 52 of them. So. You know, you can kind of ration that out and figure it out. And, uh, yeah, please do the heroes. If anybody's watching that has anything to do with it, please do the heroes. Yes, yes, that would I'm be so sh- awesome. I, I would think they would. I would imagine so. But I know it's a costly process, and they're really doing this to kind of just raise awareness and be like, hey, we're still around, you know. Cause... Well, I like I like that they're using the villains because suddenly, you know, villains yeah. that you weren't too aware of, you're suddenly getting all this backstory. Like, the one that I'm kind of anticipating is Joker's Daughter. Um, in I think it's the next run, but I'm not 100%. No, I'm not sure. Um, and and that, one's, that one's interesting because I always wanted to know about Joker's daughter because if you don't know anything about Joker's daughter, she never really said, you know, she's Joker's daughter, she's Penguin's daughter, she's uh, Riddler's daughter, but then there's another Riddler's daughter. She's um, uh, Two-Face's daughter, right, because her name is Duella Dent. Uh, so, so she kind of has this whole weirdness about her, and I always wanted to know more, but I never could find the comics that she's going to be in. She's usually in Teen Titans... Or, or Titans Dark or something like that. What oh, is this, so maybe this will be your Titans chance. East or something like that. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping to find out more about her because uh, she seems like an interesting character, and I just can't wait to learn more about other villains that that DC wants to throw out. And I also want to do the same thing with the heroes. You know, I'd love to to, to learn more about the yeah, underscore. Yeah. I, I think that if they do end up doing the heroes and they look back though, and like we all look back, starting with the villains is so much cooler. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's it's a great idea. Anyway, yeah. so which ones did you know? you really remember and you like and you would recommend solidly. Which ones would I recommend I, solidly? I actually really like the Superman Cyborg one. That one was cool, yeah, Cyborg I, Superman. I, I thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, and then as I mentioned, the, I, I, I like the Two-Face one. and Two-Face I thought was really good. Uh, uh, Deadshot, rather. Deadshot was really good. And the Deadshot was yeah, really that good. Yeah, that was pretty damn good. I think the Dark Side was okay. Ventriloquist I liked. Yeah. Um, Ventriloquist was just creepy. Yeah, I would I would highly recommend checking out Ventriloquist. Uh, Count Vertigo, meh. Yeah, yeah. And same with uh, Relic. I mean, that one, it it was an interesting thing, I suppose, but I just don't understand it. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I kind of, it it made sense to me, sort of. I mean, he just, he he went from one... You would think at some point somebody would say something or have some kind of semblance of a conversation and it would be all completely changed. Yeah, 
I don't know. Anyway, you'll have to read to know yeah, what we're yeah. talking about if you don't already. Uh, what else was there? There was a Creeper. Creeper was interesting. I liked. I liked I like that the started, oniness. Yeah, I like the oniness as well. But as far as the rest of the story, see, I I always thought that uh, Creeper was like one of those heroes that aren't a hero. They're kind of the crazy hero because I, I always for some reason I thought he was a hero, but he's not. He's a villain. I mean, I guess I just didn't know enough about Creeper. Are you thinking to... about Dead Man or something? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Creeper's not always Dead been Man. Bad. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, his art is also very different. Um, yeah. Also, I think Poison Ivy's is fairly different. And you said you liked Poison Ivy. I don't. I, I liked Poison Ivy only. Well, I. The cover's awesome. I liked Poison Ivy because it was, you know, she was the most, you know. So in in this era, you know, there are no heroes, uh, or in this in this spoiler series, spoiler, there are possibly. no heroes. Heroes, something has happened. All the heroes are gone, and uh, she's in in Poison Ivy's thing. She's just kind of walking down the street and dealing with the fact that. You know, this is this is the world now, and she's kind of like, well, this is. And there's I'm, no Batman. Yeah, I'm gonna do this and this, and this is gonna happen, and so yeah. it was just cool to see what she was going to do. I guess maybe we should explain, and this is not really a spoiler. Um, you know, we've got a lot of villains that are coming together on the, you know, the League of Evil or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. And there are some that are refusing to be part of it, and so that's really interesting. And those are, and it's obviously gonna lead into whatever. We haven't talked about the Gorilla Grodd one. Um, that one's. I thought it was okay. I think I liked it more than you did. Yeah. Um, but it, it, it that's one that's going to tie into this core of the book, so we'll see what happens. Right. Uh, what else is there? There is... There's also that alien Grim Reaper, which... I can't remember the name. I think it was like Rasad. It's Desad. Desad, is it? Yeah, see, I told you. Desad. Oh. So, I like this one as well. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, it was it was, it was was interesting, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't know much about him because I'm not a huge fan of anything that comes from Apocalypse, but he seemed like a very yeah, interesting Yeah, see, fan. this, I mean, there was a lot of Apocalypse in here, so I really enjoyed that, yeah. actually. Because I'm, I've never really been a fan either, but they're, you know, they're tying it in really well here, I thought. I don't know. Maybe it's just the first time that I've actually read parts of a whole bunch of different books. So, um, one thing I will say is that it has very little to do with the actual title of the the yeah, real book. Yeah. Um, they just you know use it as an opportunity to put a villain on there, so it doesn't have really anything to do. Every once in a while, you will like actually this one I think does. Right, I'm the under end, the assumption like, oh, that that's girl. Well. Yeah, yeah, I'm under the assumption that that's happening in Earth too. That's what I would assume. Yeah. So anyway, um, so yeah, I think overall, if you can get uh, your hands on some of these uh, 3D, I think it's totally worth an extra buck, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, you can just pick the ones you like. Um, I decided to get them all so I can, you know, have that massive wall. It would be awesome. It'd be so awesome. I sure hope they do. You know. I kind of... Oh, and oh. Just, just to let you know, uh, Harley Quinn's going to have her own book. I just, I found that out recently and I just want to pass, you know, pay that forward. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I just want to say that, that, like, especially with like the cyber, so cyber Superman, the comics don't actually, and I hate when they do this, but the comic covers don't actually have anything to do with what's happening on the inside. So in in that one, you have Cyber Superman, and you're just kind of like this thing, and then over here you have Superman all tied up. Superman's nowhere in the book. Actually, yeah. all of them are like that. Yeah. In fact, one of my favorites. Well, uh, Two Face kind of is. I mean, all he's doing is flipping a coin. Uh, I couldn't find it, but Ventriloquist has, you know, like Red Hood and all this stuff. They're yeah, all yeah. hanging behind her. So, so, but it has nothing to do with that. So, but uh, you know, I guess to me it works because this is their villain. Yeah. So it ties it in that way. Yeah, I guess. And the last thing I'm going to say is actually the the 3D representations on the computer are every bit as cool as these. Really, it's just that you can't really display them very much. But it's super cool. I, I like seeing that. In fact, it shows you a clearer idea of what it's supposed to look like when you don't have any kind of um, you know fuzziness because the lines are too too tight or whatever right so i like that digital representation i hope they keep those around i usually like download them or something but but these are a super cool thing to have tactile and and the covers you know they're not very thick at all i mean they're they're what like 10 weight cardstock or something yeah know. yeah they, they felt like a, a a thick comic book cover yeah yeah that's so it. super cool all right guys uh please tell us what you think i'm excited about this event and hopefully it'll It'll really capture a lot of attention. Yeah. And they'll continue with heroes. Please, please, please. Yeah, please do heroes. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Labs has been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art, print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, we'll chat all day. And we're both blogging as well. You can find me, disc37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, Updates of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look if you like it. Uh, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com where I have stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. Okay. See ya.
Next up on New Review, it's Turok Dinosaur Hunter. DC Villains Month. DC's Villains Month. Because it is plural, I just forgot to put the S on the front. Might help to say DC's com DC Comics Villains Month. I don't know. See, I always hated that. DC Comics is redundant because it's Detective Comics Comics. That's what DC stands for, it's Detective Comics. Whatever. I hate when they do that. But anyway, I guess it's DC Comics. Well, yeah, it's like a brand new DC. It doesn't really work. I see what you mean. <clears throat> DC Comics Villain Week. Villains. Villains Week. Villains Week. Followed by Turok Dinosaur Hunter. And then for our focal it's point. It's month. Oh, what I say? Week. Welcome to a great week. DC's Comics. DC Comics Villains Week. Month. Month. <laughs> Dude, week. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to get it right. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week, starting off with DC Comics Villains Month, followed by Turok Dinosaur Hunter, and then for our focal point, Storm the Castle. That's right. Our anime this week is Cowboy Bebop the movie, and our movie, that threw me off. The movie. Movie, and then movie again. Yeah. And our movie, we get the joy of trying again. Yay! You're welcome. So did you hear, um, about the DC thing that's happening? I mean, uh, apparently Batwoman in this, in DC now is a lesbian, and they want, and two uh -huh. editors, or two creators, two writers or something like that, wanted to get her married, but DC, com the, D the company said no, so they quit, and then shortly after, they're, DC's holding a contest, um, to draw, to draw, um, Harley Quinn killing herself in multiple fashions. It's like a contest that they're having. Like one of the things that they said is, is her practically naked, kind of hanging with a noose. The other one, and I thought this one was funny, but it's still kind of inappropriate, is her with a, a chicken bikini surrounded by alligators, you know, like, eat me. And then the third one was her in a bathtub. I'm sorry, what does one have to do with the other? Uh, I just heard them both at the same time, and I... And I so nothing. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> they might, I just bring them up. What I was gonna say was, um... It kind of sounds like the, the people who were like, oh, you have to, you have to let us marry the Batwoman. They, they kind of had a grudge, and now they, they put up this fake contest. That's what I'm that's what I'm assuming, but it's probably not what it is. Uh, just to kind of turn people off of uh, uh, DC. Just be like, DC, you suck. 